two more brushes that can give you a lot of control over your Z sketch are float and push and pull. Let's open up the brush pop-up and first we'll start with float. I'll focus in kind of on this sketch right here by the shoulder. As I brush along this area, you can see that it is essentially floating that off the surface that it's been laid down upon. So we can make a bit of a arc like this. If we wanted to, we can then smooth that down a little bit. Then we could continue floating. Now let's switch over to push and pull. At first glance, you might think that these brushes are doing the same thing. It looks like it's bringing it off of the surface. But unlike float, where my brush is positioned has a big impact on how this works. So for instance, I was brushing along the top here. If I bring my cursor down to the side, you can see it's then pulling in that direction. If I bring my cursor over on the other side, you can see it pulls in that direction. By holding the Alt key instead of pulling, you'll be pushing. 